Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching Behind the Brand. I want to give a special shout out to my friends at Pixability for making this episode possible. And don't forget to subscribe. It actually makes a huge difference to convince the people that don't believe you can watch awesome content like this for free on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Jeffrey Hislett and you are watching Behind the Brand. Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with global business celebrity, Jeffrey Hazlett. Jeff, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here, and it's always good to be a global business celebrity. So with all this happening in New Media, with all this content that's being created, and you know, you, you're seasoned, you're experienced, you've got you know, a lot of business experience under your belt. Is now the best time or the worst time to start something? It's always a good time to start something. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. So you should be starting something new now. Now, is the timing perfect? Could it be better? Yeah, maybe. But again, dreamers dream, doers do. And if you do, you'll start catching your dreams up to the things that you're doing. And I think that's the most important thing that most people have to keep in mind. You know, most dreamers never get shit done. So they never get it done and doers do. And it might, could it be perfect? Can I wait for it to be perfect? Yeah. So the time is to start now. Even in the worst of times, in 2008, there were companies that were making a lot of money. And there were companies that were growing double digit, triple digits, or even larger during the biggest downturns. If you have a great product, a great service that people want to have, you can be very successful at it. So the time to do it is now. I, let's ask you personally. Like, so because you've been there, done that, you've got all this, is it easier for you personally or is it harder for you now to start something new or learn something? It's, it's, um, it's really easy for me to start anything new because I like doing that. My biggest problem is to pick which new thing I need to do because I have a thousand ideas going through my head and I have to sort through those and say which ones are the real winners. Sometimes I don't know. So I'm one of those kinds of guys where I'll play around with different things and throw it up and cook it like spaghetti and throw it on the wall to see what sticks in order to find the things that, that work well. Or I might make investments in companies to look at those kinds of things. So for me, the biggest hard, hardest thing for me is to keep the focus in on the things that are going to be the best use of my time. Because I'm always, like a lot of people out there, looking for a pony out there in everything that I'm looking at.